The join command in sheet metal mode reminds me a lot of the merge command for surfaces. In my model, I have two sheet metal walls and they are disconnected. If you take a look down at the bottom of the screen, it says that I have two pieces in here. So to connect them, we can go to the editing drop down menu and then choose join. And in the message area, I'm prompted to select two surfaces to connect. If I go to the placement tab, we have a collector and you're going to hold down the control key to select the surfaces. And you can see a preview of the geometry that's being created. We also have flip arrows to control which side that we are keeping. And similarly for the other piece of geometry as well. And I'm going to leave this here while I show you some of the different options. Actually, let's flip this to make it easier. All right, so right now we have a bend at the intersection point, and it's using the thickness for the radius of, of the bend. You could also choose two times the thickness, or you could just specify the value that you want. So for example, 0.5, put a nice big radius on there. And the next button over here allows you to control whether you are dimensioning to the inside of the bend or the outside of the bend, or you're going to let your sheet metal parameters control whether the radius is to the inside or the outside. On the relief tab, we can choose whether we want to use rip relief or some other different kind of relief, for example, rectangular relief. Right now you don't see it. If I change it from up to bend to blind, now you can see it in there. And it's using, in this case here, two times the thickness. Let's use some bigger values to make it easier to see. And it uses the same kind of relief on both sides. If we go to the Options tab, right now it is trimming the non-intersecting geometry. In other words, the stuff that's over here and over here are being removed from the big surface. If I uncheck that option, you can see how we got the sides back in here. And in this particular situation, if I change to up to intersection line, it's not going to make a difference or even a long intersection line. But let's again turn that off to get more geometry in there. And the last part of the dashboard for this one is bend allowance. Again, I'm a big advocate for letting your sheet metal manufacturers work all of that out rather than you using whatever kinds of information that you have or assuming some kind of K factor or Y factor. Uh, because again, let the experts handle that. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolwindchill.com. If you learned something in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.